Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going diptyque shopping. I already purchased my candle, however, I kind of want to see the other city candles and see what's new at diptyque. And kind of hopefully I'll ask a essay there if she can kind of explain the city candles to you guys, the scents and her opinion on it. If you guys are new to my channel, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. So my outfit for today, I'm wearing a Van Cleef & Arpels a sweet Alhambra necklace in carnelian. I have a Dior ring, my Michael Liddy Dijoy handbag, and then this dress, I feel like I got it on a Korean website. I don't know if it's from Yes Style or some other brand or from Vietnam. I can't remember, but I have this dress for so, so many years now and I finally am wearing it again. And then the other side of my hand, I have Cartier ring and a bracelet. So now let's head to the Wind Casino where Diptyque Boutique is located. All right, let's drive to the Wind Casino. We of course are going to Diptyque Boutique and I'm very, very excited. I haven't been there in a while, so I'm very happy to see the new products and the city candles. And here is the boutique. Look at the city candle display. Hi. <laughs> So this is our City Candle collection for 2023. We have one new one this year and it's Seoul. Um, the notes are hibiscus, jasmine, and incense. Um, we have all of our regulars. We have Pekin, New York, Berlin, Miami, Tokyo, Beverly Hills, um, Shanghai. Those are our city candles. Uh, I wanted to ask, how come last year the USA didn't get sold, but like Europe did? Oh, you know what? Sometimes they just, ex they're more exclusive in like Europe and then they drop them here later. Mm -hmm. um, but we are very happy to have it this year. Okay, awesome. And then do you guys have the new cherry blossom one as we well? Actually sold oh, because yeah. somebody wanted to ask what's the difference between the cherry blossom and then this one. So cherry blossom is just cherry blossom. Mm -hmm. um, this is hibiscus, jasmine, and incense. So while it is sweet and have has those floral notes, um, it isn't gonna be cherry blossom. Mm. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Let's see how it's. Good. Remember at home? Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. The picking. This is the one I just got right here. So. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love this. Mm. Oh, she's looking at Chanel. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. So if you guys purchase a candle or any product at Diptyque, they can wrap it super nicely for you. For the city candles, they wrap it in the silk wrap, a ribbon, and a tag of the city candle, which I think is super cute and I love like the presentation for this year. And here are their other candle candles. And also, these are really nice. I love the vessels of these ones. There's bay, tuberose, amber, and a 34 one. And this is a candle lid just to like seal the scent. That way it lasts longer. There's even a snuffer and also a like candle wick trimmer. And then a Diptyque has a lot of different kind of candle sizing. There are so many different kind of sizes like mini, small, um, standard just a lot and they have these candle holders these are photo fours it helps your candle burn evenly which I do recommend you guys can also build your own gift set if you guys want to buy like a gift for somebody there are home diffusers these re-diffusers or car diffusers and if you guys are wondering what you should do with your empty candle uh, vessels you can you know, like plant plants in there color pencils makeup brushes whatever you want and then they also sell like candle accessories and chinaware like plates and bowls especially on their website and blankets as well which i think is super cool there's a candle stand candle lids candle holders and this one right here is so cool because it's kind of like the wax candle is melting i think that's really cool and very unique and we have some more different like candle accessories which i think are really beautiful and then walking over to the fragrances diptyque has so many fragrances 
They are very, very, very long lasting and they smell really good. They have Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfume, so more intense or lighter. And the bottle itself is really pretty. I love like the design on it. And also they have some solid perfume as well. And then walking over, I love this display here. How beautiful is this? All the roses, uh, cherry blossom. These are like the travel and bath hand products. So they have like, uh, oh, I love this satin body and hair oil. It's so nice. You can put it on your hair or on your body to make it more like smooth and shiny. It's so nice. And there are some hand creams, shower gels, shower foams, bar soaps, a bar tray. There's even body lotions, little travel fragrances. It also has some hand soap. And this is like a travel set if you want to go traveling and bring like little mini stuff. And then I had my sister help me take a video so I can just screenshot it for the video thumbnail, which you guys already seen the thumbnail. And that is it for the shopping vlog. Now let me switch over and show you guys the unboxing. Oh, also this is the like window display, the new fragrance. Yay. Tiffany! Tiff! <laughs> so i am back home now and i'm going to do an unboxing of the soul city candle and also talk about each of the city candle scents and what other products i got from my shopping vlog so i have the new candle well it's not really new but it is new to the u.s since we didn't get it last year so first off i want to say the city candles are 84 dollars and i believe Tomorrow, which is April 26th, is the last day that you can purchase the city candles. So hopefully if you're watching this video, this video is helpful. But you guys can always purchase it on the Diptyque website and Boutique if it's still available. And I think Nordstrom might have it, but I will link all the website and links down below. So I went to Win Casino in Las Vegas and my essay there is Stacy. But my essay was not working that day, so she had her co-workers help me. And Leilani, if you guys saw the shopping vlog earlier, she explained the new Soul City candle to me. And everybody there was just so helpful and so, so nice. So thank you to Diptyque Win team. So yeah, I will do um, an unboxing and then tell you guys about all of these city candles. And if you guys still have any questions, just leave it down below. Somebody did ask the comparison between Seoul and Tokyo, which I will tell you guys in a moment. So let's just unbox this first. And they wrapped it so nicely. So I ended up only purchasing one candle because as you guys can tell, I still have the candles from the previous years. So there is a beautiful, this is more like a pink ribbon, but on camera it kind of looks orangey, but it's actually a pink ribbon. And then it says Seoul here. And there's also a diptyque sticker and also the back does have a design as well. It's so freaking cute. So these candles are 190 grams each and they burn for 60 hours total. And again, they are $84. Also, if you guys do purchase two city candles on their website, you guys can use the code city23 for a mini bay candle and you have to purchase at least two city candles so now let me go ahead and unbox this and show you guys the candle vessel itself so before i do show all of the candles here is soul which i just unboxed so for shopping at diptyque my essay there she gave me a mini roses candle three fragrances and then she also wrote me a nice letter which is so nice she wrote dear trish as always thank you for allowing me to assist you with your order enjoy soul all my best stacy and the team at diptyque at the wind casino if you guys do want to purchase from my essay let me know i will give you her number and also i'll link the diptyque website down below and now here is the spread of all of the city candles there is a total of 11 Diptyque City Candles. They are $84. Burn time is 60 hours and they all smell amazing. And they're all so, so beautiful. I really love these tags. Now, when they wrap it for you, they have these really cute city tags. I They only gave me Soul because that's the only candle I purchased. But then I asked if they can give me one of the others. And they did. So thank you so much to the Win team at uh, Diptyque Win team at Las Vegas. So let me talk about these scents now. So let's start off with Berlin. Berlin is in the floral family. It has linden tree and honey accents. And I personally do not like Berlin. I'm not too sure 
why, but that scent, I'm not a huge fan of it. Here is the back of the tag. Um, as you guys can see, I have never burned Berlin. It's just, I don't like the scent of it. I don't really know why. I mean, it's not that bad, but I'm not really a huge fan of Berlin. So it's kind of just like a collection and I just like the design on it. Um, but for me personally, I don't like Berlin, even though it's in the floral family. Floral family is my favorite, but I don't like the scent very much. Next is going to be Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is in the floral family and it has Fresia, mint, and lemon. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. And I really like Beverly Hills a lot. It's a nice scent to it. And you guys can tell I'm almost done with Beverly Hills. Yeah, it smells, it's like a light floral to me, almost kind of like, mm, I guess you can kind of compare it to like a, um, uh, maybe a white rose and it's just like a really light floral scent but it's kind of refreshing in a way hopefully that helps you guys i'm pretty bad at explaining the scents but i'm just kind of telling you guys what it smells like to me next we have hong kong and hong kong is also in the floral family it has um tonga blackana bohemia sorry i'm done pronouncing any of that wrong but basically it's in the floral family and i really love the design on this one let me smell it mm, it's kind of hard to explain this one as well but honestly if you love floral scents you will love this hong kong one and yeah hong kong is already all gone i didn't restock again just because i have way too many candles at the moment so i'm just trying to use up all the candles more before i purchase again next we have london this is the bag how pretty is that and London is also in the floral family. It has heliotrope, lilac, and juniper. And you guys, London smells so good. And I really love the vessel on this. It's kind of like mirror-like. So, mm, this smells amazing. It's a really nice floral. Like I said, I'm not very good at explaining the scents. But hopefully with the, like, the notes that it helps you guys definitely smells like lilac lilac it's a really light floral scent i love it a lot next is miami this is the back of the tag and miami is in the floral family it has magnolia lemon and jasmine and it's kind of like palm leaves in a way let me smell it okay so I definitely smell the lemon in there, but it's kind of like a hint of lemon, and it's like a really light floral. These floral scents are super light, if anybody is wondering. Next, we have New York, and New York is in the woody family. It has vetiver, patchouli, and incense. This is the bag of New York. So the New York candle really reminds me of like the Great Gatsby. It's giving those vibes to me, so let me smell it. Yeah, okay, so I really like New York as well. So to me, New York, even though I'm not a huge fan of Woody, this smells amazing. And it's actually not too, too strong, but once you burn it in your room, it will fill up super, super quickly. That's the one reason I really like New York candle is that it will fill your room really fast. So if you're looking for a candle like that, I definitely recommend New York. So next is Paris, and it's in the C-H-Y-P-R-E family. I'm sorry, I, I really have no idea how to pronounce that. But it has bergamot, lavender, and patchouli. And this is the candle itself. It's almost somewhat similar to New York. So let me smell it. Mmm. It smells so nice. It's kind of like the floral family, actually. But it smells really nice. It has lavenders in there. Another light floral. And I think, actually, if you burn Paris, it's kind of... Uh, it will fill up the room super nicely, like New York as well. And next, we have Pekin. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. And Pekin is also kind of a strong one. It will fill up the room really quickly as well. This is in the Woody family. It has sandalwood, magnolia, and green tea. So it also has magnolia, just like the other candle. And I love the design on this one. It even has a dragon on the left side. Yeah, it smells really nice. Like I said, I do not like Woody scents, but this one just smells really good. Like, because of the magnolia, it kind of cancels out that like Woody scent to it, so it isn't as strong. So Pekin is also a really, really nice one. Next is Seoul, which is the candle that USA finally 
has this is the back hibiscus so it's in the floral family it has hibiscus jasmine and incense and oh my goodness you guys this candle smells amazing i think this has to be my favorite city candle now so to me soul it smells kind of like like christmas in a way we got like that raspberry it smells like raspberries to me but it's basically hibiscus and it's such a nice refreshing and beautiful scent even though it says it has incense i can't really smell the incense i just smell like floral and hibiscus so yeah it's a really nice sweet scent i really really love soul very very happy about this candle next is shanghai shanghai is in the floral family it has osmanthus and green tea this is the back so this is the candle itself let me smell it yep another light floral it low-key kind of smells like a bar soap um, but in a good way so osmanthus and green tea definitely have a tea scent in there so that's really really nice i like this one a lot and then lastly we have tokyo this is the back of tokyo and then here is the candle itself and let me smell it mm, tokyo smells so good tokyo is in the woody family and it has cypress incense and ginger okay so i didn't even know that tokyo had ginger in it because every time i burn it i'm like this smells like ginger so but in a good way because even though it says it's in the woody family it seems like a floral plus ginger a really nice sweet scent i like this a lot so i do recommend it but if i had to choose one city candle i would recommend soul soul has to be my favorite um very very happy about that so those are all the candles so like i said somebody did ask um the difference between soul and tokyo honestly it smells different it is not the same at all like I said, Tokyo has ginger and it's kind of floral, but this one is kind of like raspberry hibiscus. This one smells sweeter and it's really, really nice. It's so beautiful. So if you're choosing and you're still confused, I recommend Seoul. If you still have any questions, just leave it down below. And then somebody else also asked the difference between Seoul and the new Cherry Blossom candle. This one is also a limited edition. This is Cherry Blossom. So honestly, this one is Cherry Blossom. They're honestly, they really smell different. Like, yeah, honestly, I would recommend Soul over the Cherry Blossom one. This one does not have Cherry Blossom. Maybe you're confusing Cherry Blossom with Japan and Korea. Korea does have Cherry Blossoms, but Japan is more known for their Cherry Blossoms. So I would say this is basically Cherry Blossom. And then Soul is Hibiscus. So definitely recommend Soul. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful if you guys have any questions at all please leave them down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye